All right, so we're outside again, testing out the PV Pi. This time I've got it on top of an old Raspberry Pi 3, just testing out the interface there. And once again, we've got my big 12 volt lithium ion phosphate battery and the 115 watt solar panel. There were some questions about what batteries and solar panels are compatible with this. As for the battery pack, it's designed to work with the 12 volt lithium ion phosphate batteries. They usually have a nominal voltage of about 12.6 to 12.8 volts. Importantly though, they have a max charge voltage of 14.6 volts, which is what this is set up to charge. As for the solar panel, it'll work with basically any solar panel that has a MPPT voltage of about 10 to 20 volts. Ideally, you should use something like this that has an MPPT voltage of about 18 volts, but actually this will work with anything that has a voltage between about 10 to 20. It will automatically find that voltage. You don't have to preset it. This is designed to automatically find it and track that voltage once it gets it. It's a bit cloudy today but you can see we've got about 10 watts still going into the battery oh, the sun's coming out a little bit now up up to about almost two amps in so this is actually coming from the raspberry pi which is communicating to the charge chip and just getting the battery voltage input current as well as the solar panels voltage and current out we've got the sun's come out a lot now going up to about five amps before there we go and you'll see in this sort of cloudy intermediate weather the voltage on the solar panel will kind of shift around a bit as it's trying to find that mppt point so the benefit of this is that the actual mppt voltage from your solar panel actually changes based off of light conditions so it's not actually a fixed value so the value that's given on the back of the solar panel is usually in optimal conditions but that voltage that gives you the max power does change based Based on solar conditions and so because this is always trying to find that max power point this solar charger is actually really quite efficient another question i've had is for the raspberry pi why do you need such a, oh, a large battery or such relatively high wattage charging you know if this only uses about four or five watts when running why do you need such a relatively high power system and my answer to that is it's not actually that high if you want to set up your raspberry pi in a remote location and have it running 24 7 then you're going to need to produce every day on average one day's worth of energy and depending on where you live you might have several days where you get close to no power well then you might just think okay well then we just need a big battery why do we need such a big solar panel or high ish current charging well you might have a few days where you have no sun and then one day where you have maybe a couple of hours of sun and in that couple of hours you need to collect as much energy as possible to make sure you can run the raspberry pi again for that day and a few more days of overcast weather that was one big problem i was having with my ai wildlife monitors the battery was big enough so it could survive on battery power alone for a few days if there was minimum or no sun. But if the sun did come out for a few hours or maybe the whole day, all of the Pi accessories and hats I could find, you know, didn't really do MPPT solar charging or they couldn't even charge the battery.